Hey guys, welcome to uh, Extensive Testing, Episode 2. Last episode we talked about how we have the Arduino with ramps and Arduino Mega. We have our MicroStep controllers. We have our, our giant NEMA 43 motor, uh, stepper motors. We have our power for each driver, driver for each stepper. And now that we have what it takes to actually print a giant print, like this is the same setup as a normal 3D printer, but with big parts. This, um, this micro step driver, it's the same as these little drivers that go into the, into the ramps board, which is a shield that goes on the Arduino. This is the Arduino. This is the ramps board. This is the, the display shield. And this is, you know, this is the same as that. This doesn't need to be here. You can take that out and everything will still work. All we've done is taken and put our wires into this one instead of having it be automatically plug in pins. So the pins control this, but we're running the pins into this one. This one is much more powerful. It controls, it's, it can be controlled with uh, these ones, which have a knob for adjusting the voltage which is essentially the power that you're going to be running. So since we can control the power and have much more power, these are needed. And we will be able to control this. A screw drive that's going to, uh, it's going to be the same thing as the filament feeder, which it pumps the feed, it pumps the, con um, it's going to pump the concrete instead of pumping plastic. So it's the same thing as a regular 3D printer where it uses a tiny stepper that, that, that pushes the filament through the hose. So we're going to be pumping concrete through a hose instead. So it's basically the same thing. And this is what it's going to be. I'm going to build this. Is, I'm going to build basically the same one with, a big, with the same screw I just showed you. I've got those bearings. I'm gonna I'm gonna build the nozzle, the concrete collector, and I'm going to build a mixer that goes on top of it. So it should look almost exactly like this. This is pretty much a simple, straightforward, bare bones, what you need. A nozzle, a motor, a trough, hopper and the screwdriver that goes inside. That's really all there is to it. And with the consistency of a stepper motor, it's gonna be it's gonna be really great because it's super controllable. So everything is gonna be perfect by the numbers, by the flow rate, by the diameter of the nozzle. Those are the things that we're gonna be adjusting in the next episodes. So in, instead of being um, conscious about the size of the filament, how much filament, it's just going to be it's just going to be stepped up just like these pieces for the printer are stepped up right now so stay tuned for episode 3 where we take the next step and start putting some of these pieces into actual form of you know where they're going to be what they're going to be doing how they're going to be arranged and what it's going to look like it's going to take shape in the next episode. So, like I said, I wasn't going to do this. I was going to keep this for myself because I've been anticipating this for three years now. So, I'm, I'm, I'm realizing that this community needs to grow. And I can't, I can't do all of this by myself. So, I decided to go ahead and just share every step of the way. And... Just let everybody have a piece, piece of the fun. <laughs> so stay tuned, subscribe if you're not already, and hope to see you in the next one.